Your last opening round playoff game right now. This is where people really make a name for themselves, so Click oh. Factor's got an opportunity for that. He could turn himself into one of the most trending Madden players of the weekend. Exactly. If he wins this game. Yep. A few coaching adjustments done there. Have not seen this formation a lot in offense. Slot offset? Just regular two back. Yeah. Yeah. Old two back. Yep. Old, that's, that's all we've always called it. Just old two old back. Old two back? There's old two back and there's two back close. I don't know why we don't call it new two back. Right. We always just went with two back close and old two back. Yeah, why does that get the, uh, the regular <laughs> name? Just the way it worked for us, I guess, man. X Factor on offense, D Jones on defense. Looks like he's occupying some gaps trying to it's get like these. D Jones in a 3 4. Mountain play there, mountain this cross is, screen. This is always an annoying formation because they got so many screen plays in and it. And you never know if he. Well, I guess offline you'll know if he's auto motioning or actually motioning in, which is going to give him a little bit of like a. Like when I'm look. online grinding the boards, all of a sudden I see this guy come on a two back with like 50 screens in the formation. I just. You get, I'm like, a little worried. Yeah. Is worried the word or is annoyed the word? Annoyed. It's, it's definitely annoyed. Because. You just keep telling yourself, like, that's the play that somebody runs. You tell yourself, why is this working? This is not good. Why is right? this beating me? It, it, that's an annoying play, and it's an annoying formation. Oh, we've all done that. It just gets so mad, and you just don't know why you can't stop it. I still remember there was a kid from New York that played on a um, gambling website, we will say. No plugs out here. And he just ran single back big on us, every play, on everyone in our crew. <laughs> and he beat us off with single back big, like just the most basic Cross flags, Sometimes that's half the hardest. dive. It is. Like, people using all the runs and not just looking for one, just exactly. mixing it up. You, you just don't know what they're going to do. Yeah, if somebody runs half-back dive every time they're under center, if they're going to run yeah. the ball, you know it's a dive. All you have to do is play that dive. Exactly. Good. Okay. That was a good adjustment that time. I believe that was tight flex that came on in. It was. But what I really like there, he sit both sides. Where right. the first time he ran it, he only sit the single side. Yep. And he saw that that didn't really affect Mixing the X factor well. in any way. Exactly. I mean, that's the best defensive players. They don't just send the same blitz at you every time. That's right. Back to tight flex, which I just don't understand. He did. Granted, it was a screen. It was the first play of the game. But that two back, like, you have to stay in that for that to be annoying. Right, exactly. You can't just go to it. Because then when you go to it, we automatically assume, okay, here comes the screen or here comes the mountain swing. Yep. It's going to be one of the two. Let's see if he runs PA pole shot again. Motion side like screamed off the edge while it's oh, seven. Oh wow, seven in his point differential, seventy nine already. Oh, he's stunting on him too. That was a nice dance, seven nothing. I really Jones. like the celebrations this year. Yes, they're. In, I like when they dribble the ball between their legs. Yeah. Definitely. I don't mean to sound like that person, you know, just like, oh, I really love this part about the game, you know. Yeah. I just really like celebrations. We understand. You don't score a lot of touchdowns. You like yeah. to celebrate right. when it happens. We get it. It's yeah. all right. It's like, you know, the graphics of the fans in the background, it's just, it's just very swell. Like, I really like to see the Redskins logo every time Kirk Cousins throws the ball into row E. Right? It entertains <laughs> me. 7 nothing, D. Jones. Is it me or does, does he do it a lot? Oh, are we talking about John Madden or real life? That's see, I mean, I got, a, I got a, like a top five quarterback on my team. You got, you got Kirk Cousins. Come on. He's a Jets fan, just in case anybody <laughs> was wondering. The reason why he gets no response for that. <laughs> You don't like McCown? Oh, man. He's a daughter, just like me. Luke or Josh? <laughs> it doesn't matter. First and 10 for X Factor again. Let's see if he goes back to that too close. Nope. Deuce close. Deuce close. Said, yeah. Oh. Coming out in Kerry Q's formation. Definitely is. Which is surprising. Kerry ran his formation all year last year, looked dominant. Yep. This is one of the most popular formations this year. He didn't even make the playoffs. He today. didn't make the playoffs. He had a tough racket, though. I mean, he, no, got, he, had, he got an upset. Uh, and then uh, Keynes ended up, uh, he had to beat Keynes by 15 points. And beating Keynes by one point is, yep. is, isn't, isn't easy to do. So beating oh. somebody like that by two possessions. Somebody that knows that they just, they just got to manage the clock. Exactly. If they know they can lose and just not lose by a lot, it's going to be impossible to beat. Trust me, uh, Keynes did not want Kerry in the playoffs. Oh, at all. He was going to do anything he could to not have him in the playoffs. At all. Good high pass there. I've not seen a lot of high passes today. I can tell you right now, X Factor is not comfortable with the dual outside heat. It seemed like he was okay with the single side coming, right? But I don't think he's enjoying. I can't seeing lie. It from both sides. I haven't seen people screaming like this in the three-four odd yet. I mean, I've seen the lock tackle. Um, I mean, AKG does it a little bit, but he just seems to be getting uh, dual edge every time. And it seems like one side will always come a little more free yeah. than what the other yep. side does. The other side is almost like a delayed stunt. Which, if you see pressure coming from, let's say, the left, your first 
inclination is to roll the right. right. And he's got like that, that stutter blitz, we'll call it, where he's kind of taking that step and then yep. taking off, which is really just throwing off the timing of X Factor. It's probably yep. the most uh, efficient blitz, I'll say, we've seen so far in right. the tournament. I know this defense is a little susceptible to the run, so I think if Click Factor makes it like inside zone, you know, I think you'll be able to move the ball a little bit easier. Yeah, this is definitely a defense that's going to work much better when you're playing a pass-heavy opponent. Right. If you've got somebody who mix up their play calls, it's not as effective. In a defense like this where they can just send it off of either side, and in this case where he's getting dual edge, he, yep. he's better off just blocking two people. Yeah, he can send five, get it from each side, or he can send six and get it from right. both sides. I know in this case I'm blocking. I don't know where it's coming from. I just want to make sure I pick up the blitz. I'm going to block two people and just try my best to doubt him. What about the ID the mic feature at this point? Do you ID one of them so you just know that the other one you're going to have to I mean, I'm probably, yeah, I'm probably IDing the mic to the person opposite of the uh, tight end, yep. just, and we you know, see, so he picks them up. And that's exactly what we see him doing right now. He's going to ID the outside linebacker yep. there. Running back picks it up. He knows he only has that one guy to worry about oh, at wow, that point. Oh, wow, he got that. But that's exactly what he has right to do. He threw right on the cut. But that's exactly great, what he has to do. He needs pass. to ID one of them and then just will say manually worry right. about the other one. Just make sure you can maneuver around that other outside yep. pressure in the pocket. He's going to have to pick one. If he's not going to block two people here, he's going to have to like have some sort of flood concept on the side just so you know, read between so he can the post route or the flat route, whatever one's open. He needs to simplify it for himself. If exactly. he's getting that much pressure, he's going to have to play one half of the field yep. and just, like you said, flood that one half of the field and make your read that way. So that exactly. way his, his eyes do not have to go from one side of the field to the other side of the field because right. he don't have time to do that. Exactly. Second along now for X Factor. D Jones is definitely not making this easy on him. At all. Also, very easy to give him these adjustments when you're not in the hot seat. Right. No, exactly. Blitzed every play. I mean, I'm, it's a, a, I'm right? a pro over here. <laughs> it no. feels a lot better up here, right? It, it does. It does. See? I don't got to be nervous and be like, yeah, I would have done this, you know? But play action, not the move for that, especially not ID. Like, yeah. play action is not going to be the move on a dual outside blitz like that. Pretty sure he might be containing, so I mean, running a play action with a contain, pretty much. The worst idea get, there is, yeah. yeah. What should be the last play of the first quarter, X Factor should probably just collect his thoughts, take a second to breathe, Third and move right here. a second. This could get ugly pretty early. High pass caught. In case you're wondering, that's the Manu Tweez game. Everyone is going uh, nuts about it. I was in the looking forward to that game. There's been a lot of good matchups this round. Fourth and seven, and we may be out of this one early because he's going for it. And D. Jones gets the ball in half. He does. He desperately needs a first down. Otherwise, it's going to get ugly for number 66. Desperately was the word to use there. Wagner, one of the deepest players on the field right now. Another high ball? He got his hands on it. And D. Jones knew exactly what that was coming. That seemed a little forced, play. Yeah. to be honest. Yeah. It's almost as if D. Jones called that play for him because he yep. knew exactly where that was coming from. That's what makes makes good defensive players, just anticipating the next move. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. me, I know why I'm not a good defensive player, because I always like, what do they just do? And I try to stop it. When you got to anticipate what so they're going to do play next. So you're playing a play behind I'm, I'm when the, you want to play a play ahead. I'm the, good, the guy that looks at the previous play. What up? <laughs> my favorite feature in Madden, previous play. <laughs> Shout out to my man Rex. You improved my defense tenfold when you added <laughs> previous play. I'll tell you that much. Drops back. I was never good at offense, Ooh, good so previous catch. play came up. Great catch. One more first down, and D. Jones will be in field goal range. Two score lead with ball at half. It's getting rough. Now, has been bringing down one of the, and normally it's the strong side safety yep. that they're bringing down and just playing a two deep shell, but only having one safety deep. Why are players doing that? I mean, they want to one stop the run, um, pulling people down in case they try to throw like a quick streak. You know, the safety's going to play it. Um, I mean, it, it takes away that read. I mean, because if they're going to go look like the flat or a drag over the middle, mm -hmm. and your user's there, they're going to be like, okay. I got to go look over here because you're not going to want to throw right at a user. No, I mean, that's, that's not how you win games. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's one thing that I've learned. I've seen a lot of people doing today. That I've learned. Ten, it's just more popular than I thought it was. I've right. seen some people doing that, yep. but I thought maybe it was just more of a I I, I want to use that safety. Right. I, I feel more comfortable. Again, when we first started playing competitive Madden, the most popular thing to do was so user safety. safety. Exactly. Always. You always wanted to make sure you were the last line of defense. You wanted right. to make sure nobody got past you. I came back in Madden 16. I'm like, why is everybody using the linebackers? Middle linebackers, linebackers yeah. now, yeah. And, and really, it's the I'm jumping like, animations. What they is this guy? He's used for blitzing. Yeah. 
it's just that shift, I think, has really made defenses harder to beat. Yeah. Because And especially when we're getting linebackers in this game in this day and age that are 90 speed right. with 90 hit power. There's so many fast linebackers now. Yeah, it's, it's a better player to user at that point. It's like having an extra cornerback on the field. An uh, extra cornerback, an extra safety. Right. <laughs> or you use a player like Mark Barron, you literally have an extra safety yeah, on the field exactly. at that point. See all these safeties just converting over to the linebacker. Now, if you use the Rams, you're going to lose. Let me, hey. let me also point that out. Probably. They're Mark Barron, a lot not better, the though. move. But if you're in a fantasy franchise, you got a draft going on, Mark Barron's the move. You can invest. First and ten. The mutt card, I enjoy the Mark Barron to yep. user. I always I either get him, Buchanan, you know, basically any of those safeties that went over to linebacker. You know, yeah. They got extra speed. Yeah. Got to take advantage of that. Exactly. And they always seem to have the best chemistries as well. Exactly. Second and ten for D. Jones here. A minute left in the second. The per, uh, right there, Dewey McDonald, who Click Factor is using, probably one of the best users on, uh, on Mutt. Yeah, about 60-something the the yep. overall, 90 speed. One of the best budget players, mm -hmm. definitely. Yeah, the silver version, however. I yeah. think there's a bronze out there, is there as well. I, I or is there? I was told there was a bronze of him as well. I, yeah, I always got the silver. That's yeah. Right. Third and short for D. Jones here. Minute left on the clock. He still has his full array of timeouts. In control of the game still. Gets ball at half. Flipping over there. More than likely running the ball right here. Trips tight end. Probably seeing inside Flipping zone. it over to the weak side. Mm -hmm. Give yourself more room to bounce it outside. Yep. It's like you play this game, Drake. Uh, a few times. You've been there. I dabble with Madden. You know. You've been in the hot seat. Yeah. First and goal. Now, we haven't seen D. Jones on the stream all day. If he's beating people by 24, he's got to have a red zone offense, right? He must. Let's I mean, see. he's putting points on the board consistently. So far, it's just running the ball. Let's see. Is that all it needs to be? There, if he gets seven here, seven after half, there's a potential for another 24 mm -hmm. win. Mm -hmm. He's looking now, really good right now. I don't believe there are point mercy rules. In the playoffs? I do not believe so. I may manually institute one if it gets too ugly. <laughs> just end it. Just, uh, let's, uh, let's just, yeah. Take him out of, out of his misery. Yeah. I'll just take the controller. <laughs> you sub it in? Take Let me borrow it. Take him. it in? I might be able to come back. <laughs> Second and goal for D. Jones here from the seven. Carry close. Rob hasn't been good since uh, Man 09 when he would uh, beat everybody <laughs> running dime. That's true. I, did, I was the originator of the dime defense. That <laughs> is true. I did run it a year before. I credit else. you. I also found corner strike last year. You Touchdown did? for D. Jones. Corner strike and Porgy. That's very true. Touchdown, D. Jones. Looking to go up 14-0. Gets ball at half. There's that red zone, though. Run X, the ball. Now, X Factor cannot get crazy in these last 18 seconds. Do Turn not the ball over, try to force beat something. yourself. You are already facing a large comeback. With him getting ball at half, do not do anything crazy. Kind of hoping he might like get a good kick return here, maybe a, a touchdown. But those, kick, those good kick returns, that could be a gift and a curse. Because if you return the kick to the 40 or the 50, you say, okay, I can get some points here. Let's go ahead I mean, and let's pass the ball. D. Jones knows better. He knows the, knows the sky he's kick. A, yeah, it's, he's been in this situation before. Oh, yeah. Also, remember, he was the originator of the most annoying kickoff there was last year. Yep, he was. Like He, he invented that thing. So. His special teams is up there with some of the best. So 15 seconds. Don't do it. I wonder what we're, what we're going to see from Click. Is he going to try to force the ball upfield or just take it into half, try to get a stop? I hope it's not this wheel post drag with the S route and the wheel behind it and he's going to try to force yeah, something this deep. Solid. I don't want him to do this to This himself. is one of my go-to plays when I'm grinding solos. I like right that here. play call I'm a, when I'm grinding solos, LOL. I'm a solo grinder now, man. I am too. I've got 300 <laughs> done already. Yeah, I got like 200 something. I like. I've never done it before this year. Now you know, I'm locked I like in. The dedication. It's a different type of grind, man. It is. <laughs> also, I learned since everything was on like rookie, you can yeah. put the controller down. On right. Defense. Yep. Go get those stops you need. <laughs> Second and 11. Trips tied in at an X factor here. Three, four odd. He's got a block too right here. Otherwise, DJ was going to scream at him. He just needs to run the ball, go to halftime. Got to hit the flat. You can't do that. D. Jones is going to get through. Never mind. Madden is telling you you should not be doing that right now. That is Madden telling you to kneel the ball <laughs> and go to have oh, three timeouts. You can't even do that. I think both of the defenders got the hand on the ball. They did. They just dropped it. They did. Everyone from defense had their hand on the ball. Yep. In my opinion here, you run the ball. You think you're lucky stars. He didn't just intercept you. You just take you right to half. Half You have to. Down 14. You Country blessings, man. To. We're going to quiet the crowd. 
<laughs> we feel that has a little bit to do with it. See what he does here. Some sort of pass is coming. He's going to motion it over to give it a bunch look. Screaming right off the edge. And right there, off the edge again. That blitz is giving him nothing so many right problems. It is, it is, it is. And I believe that time he only sent it from the left side. I didn't even see the right side come on that one. Nope. Unless he blocked that tight end. I think end. he got picked up. Yeah, okay, blocked the tight end. All right. So again, this is the last playoff game of the first round. Tomorrow we will be back and we will give someone their Madden Classic invite. You know what? They will earn I can't wait to see their Madden Classic invite. Can't wait to invite. see tomorrow. It's going to be great. If it's anything like these last three and four games have been here today, it is going to be outrageous. That wild and figgy game. I That was awesome. I was so happy I had a chance to sit in the, first, in the front row and watch that game. I literally just got done saying... I think he played that end of the game well. I think things are changing. I think he's going to clutch up, score. All of a sudden, mm -hmm. he loses. So it was your fault. Sorry, Figgy. Mm. You owe him a round. 14 <laughs> nothing, D. Jones. Okay, a little pressure from X Factor there. Something we haven't seen yet. Nice little doubt over the middle, though. And that's what it's going to take. He's going to have to get a, a sack fumble. He's going to have to get a strip fumble. He needs yeah. points on defense to turn this around. He D. Jones cannot, looks. Even giving up three here, you yep. can go ahead and start walking back to your hotel. Right. Because you're not going to come back on a player like D. Jones when he's up 17 to nothing. Definitely not. You're not going to do it. He looks really comfortable in the bunch. He needs a de I don't even think he needs a stop. He needs a defensive score. He needs right. something that is going to wake him up. He needs the five-hour energy from this cornerback <laughs> taking it back to the house, man. First and 10, D. Jones. The bunch, no pressure this time. And, okay, and I like that. Let's Seems get a like hit. Let's in get route a over the middle. And it looks like he's just kind of giving it a little bit of a levels look with that oh, yes. uh, corner route here, yep. the in route over top of it, the flat route coming underneath of it, really just making you like pick who you're going to yep. guard so he'll hit the other one. One of those sharp cut corner routes that the uh, Deep Blues can't play. Yep, short corner. That's what I like to call those. The flat route was the right read there. Goes down so he cannot give up that defensive score. D. Jones yep. is one of the smarter Madden players left in this tournament. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'll be honest. I don't think... Even last year, I don't think D. Jones was one of the most skilled Madden players. No. I think he played the game better than most people. I don't think he was the most skilled. There's a big difference there. Oh, definitely. First and 10, two clock is on, bunch to the strong side. Looks like D. Jones is just trying to uh, get the game over with, you know, keep the clock moving. D. Jones has got some college football to watch or something tonight. He <laughs> must need this Oregon game in his life because he is chewing our clock. Now, X Factor, in my opinion, he needs to send six. Oh, he's got to try to force something, yeah. something that D. Jones hasn't seen yet from he him. He needs just quick pressure to maybe make D. Jones make a wrong read, fire something to his defender, and yeah. he needs a pendulum swing right now. He hasn't been sending tons of people, but you send that much pressure, a person just like, I need to make this quick read to the flats, and if you play this, the corners down, you'll shade them down, they're going to play, play the, uh, the flat rope. Yeah, yeah. And there's it, just little adjustments exactly like that are just the things that separate the highest echelon Madden players and the lower echelon right. Madden players. They just understand, like, the, you know, the great players, they just know that they have to just change it up on you. you can't, they can't give you the same look every play. Yeah. They understand, even if their best formation is bunch, they cannot be in bunch every play. Exactly. You're going to pick up on those reads. Even if they do run bunch every play, they're not going to run the same play. Exactly. Play. It's, it's going to be a sale concept. The next time it's going to be a levels concept. Right. There may be a fork concept in there. They right. may just be setting everything up to where you're finally not guarding the corner and you're just going to fire that corner because you stopped guarding it. Right. Like when I play, I mean, I always just find one formation. I master it. Like last year, I used trips head end. I used uh, snugs. Mm -hmm. I just had so many different motions, so many different looks that it's hard for the... Uh, opponent exactly. to pick up on it. To maybe even make it to where you have three different sets of plays that all look the same. Exactly. Oh yeah. From one I do that. All, I motion in the same person every time. Yep. I have like three or four different rows that he's on. It's, yep. it's hard to pick up. That's you have to, you have to confuse them. Should be the last play of the quarter. The clock's not moving. I lost. I think it will be. Not. Tight flex out of here. Probably just an inside zone. He wants that. Oh, yeah, some sort of run right here. Maybe even bench. Yeah, he's no, motioning. He's, he's, motion. yeah, he's, he's running. running now. I'll be surprised if he doesn't. I am surprised. Okay. All right. Okay. Is and see, he needs it. He might not be of, in field goal range. Yeah, I don't know what field this field goal range now. new kicker can make on the uh, Seahawks. So this is going to be about 54. 
54 offline, no cakewalk. Pretty sure it's Blair Walsh also. Mm. You know, nothing's given with him. Mm. He's a regular Roberto Aguayo. <laughs> I take every chance possible to slander Florida State alums. Right. Let's just do it. I think Walsh had enough leg for that, though. Otherwise, if I'm him, I'm just my punt it, you know, try to get another stop. Yeah, pin him down, especially when you have a punt as effective as what his is. He could pin him down probably yeah. within the five. Nothing's really clicked so far for him, so, you know. But instead, that's a perfect field goal, and he's going to go up 17 yep. with four minutes to go. Basically, in this game, it's got the leg. It's good. That would have been good from maybe another yard back. Maybe, maybe. 17 nothing. We need a score, two points, a score, one point, two point. Maybe I'll go for three and tie the game. Who knows? Right. If, I mean, I've seen it, be, I've seen it done, man. I remember when I played uh, VTech last year. I was down 17 ah. points, two, minute, two and a half minutes left. Do you think VTech remembers that game? Uh, probably not. Ah, I'll have to remind him later tonight about the Minnesota Vikings club I mean, there's, series. There's been plenty of Mean's Bay, Mary Bay about his friends. Yeah, he probably doesn't remember that at all. I, I bet we never I would have forgotten it by now. Yeah, probably, yeah. I mean, I don't see you tagged on the Twitter or anything. Yeah, we never Photoshop random pictures with your face on it. Just, yeah, <laughs> we wouldn't do that to VTech. Great guy. <laughs> First and ten for his tournament life here. He's a really quick score. Probably, I would onside if I score. Oh, you have to. You just, have to. just to limit the field, you know. Yeah. If, if you don't get way, it, yeah. Hold so the that three. way he can't. Yeah, he can't take three minutes of just moving up the field without exactly. even getting into field goal range. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, I'm not sure about that positioning there from Wagner. Second and six. Coming out in trips head end. Great formation, by the way. I'm more of the Y flex guy. That's also great formation. See, I think, and you maybe can either agree or tell me that I'm wrong here. I feel like when that tight end is off the line of scrimmage, he runs his routes a little slower. Yeah. Which in this game you re you want. What I like better when he's off the line, um, when he's on the line trips head end, you put him on a drag. Sometimes he just gets bumped by the D line. Yeah, but it, when by, he's by off somebody line, just moving past him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Yeah. There are a lot, and I don't, and most of the plays that are in the offset or in the flex or, yeah. you know, whatever you want to call it, because it is called different things in different books, most of those plays are the exact same plays that are in trips tied in. Right. You still have the double sail concept. You're still going to get flood concepts. You still have birch. You still have crossers. You got everything you need. I just prefer that tight end off the line of scrimmage. Deuce close, halfback wham. Not sure if he's killing the clock. Yeah, a little late for that. I just don't like the play call. At this point, you're down 17. You need to be throwing the ball every down. See if you can get two footballs and throw them both. Potentially waving the white flag here. It's third and eight. The only pass, so that first high pass on that fourth and seven, he completed, and it seems like he fell in love with it. He got, he got him out of the trickiest situation he was it at did. in the time, and then he just kind of just kept it, Forced just kept that it going. Forced exactly. down and exactly. put him in a real bad situation. Yeah, it worked once doesn't mean you have to keep going to that well. Exactly. Third and eight here. Trips Hopefully, tied in. Though. We see some sort of pass right here. They have a really good play. Uh, I believe it's X under. That's a good route. I like that motion. Looks like that it was, was a nice. motion drag. No, yeah, no, that was a really nice motion. I like that route. He got off. He got off his defender quick. It was a great motion, me. I don't know. <laughs> First and ten now for X Factor. Trips tight end look again. We eventually he has to go down the field. Definitely. I don't. He just hurdle the center. I believe he just hurdled the center. And you know why Madden let him hurdle the center? because it knows how bad of a play call that was. <laughs> I mean, Second the clock's stopping either way. I mean, D. Jones maybe not, might not have been expecting it. 17 points That's true. That's in true. two minutes. It can be done. Inside zone, not going to get it done. It can be done. Not with inside zone. <laughs> Three, four odd out of D. Jones again. Great job picking up the pressure that time. Good pass, good pass. No, most definitely was. I would have maybe tried to look to the fade row on the left. That was uh, open versus cover two. That's probably the most comfortable he's looked against that blitz all the game. Definitely. Might be a little bit too late, obviously, but I mean but it can help him down the road exactly, just in like, case he sees it again. At this point, like there's more sanctioned challenger events going on. Exactly. He can still go home and grind the leaderboards. There is a lot he can learn 
from this game right here. He exactly. can say, okay, I just played one of the best Madden players in the world. Why did he beat me the right. way he beat me? That's what makes somebody a great player. They're going to learn from it, you know, take it to the next game and improve yeah. on it. There's two things you can do. You can learn from it or you can complain about it. And just do the same thing over and over and over. Or you can do what Joke does, learn about it and complain about it. Shout out to our man, Noble Joke. Oh. Fumble, got it back. That play looked designed. Second and 15 now. Oh, I bet it's that first one. If I had to guess, I bet you there's a wheel route with an S route underneath it. Uh, yep. <laughs> Caught for about five yards. Looks like you're inside cross, cross right there. Back. Third and nine. Now you can get a first down without scoring in case you want to do that. That is, that is true. It's possible. Might want to score here, though. High pass. Picked. Picked and off. That is game. Cam Chancellor. Officially. Ball game. 17 nothing. D. Jones didn't quite get the 24 no, win he here. Didn't. But yet. I mean, oh. it's close. <laughs> I mean, knowing D. Jones, he, you know Not how he plays. He yet. Likes, likes to rub stuff in sometimes. That man may be going for four 24 point victories yeah. today. He may want to go home and feel exquisite That's before he comes back goal to this line. tomorrow. Just might be trying to end the game. There we go. A little classiness from D. Jones there. He's going to chew clock. We're going to take 40 more seconds off. I think he's coming right back out and goal line again. And uh, Click's letting him just take the clock down. He knows it's over. Yeah, it's semantics at this point. Yep. Goes down. That's going to all and do it. I believe that was the last play of the game right there. Most definitely was. So for the first time today, D. Jones does not get the Mercy Point victory. Not sure how he feels about himself. Maybe disappointed. I mean, I would be disappointed. I mean, I just want to blow everybody out, you know? I can win by one, and I'm <laughs> exuberant. I feel great. But that's just because uh, not a lot of Madden tournament wins right. <laughs> in my career. I, don't, I didn't know how to put that gingerly without right. hurting my feelings. Yep. Great day in Madden. Rob Grocery. Awesome. Drag. STD drag yep. here. You guys just witnessed the first round of the playoffs. You saw all the names. I'm really excited for Mo and Problem tomorrow. I am more